So is it cool to be a mobile DJ? I asked myself this question over 30 years ago when I was in my late teens. At the time, I was DJing at nightclubs and I was also doing wedding receptions and stuff. Now the people that I knew who I tell, hey, I work at the club, they thought that was super cool. And girls thought that was cool. That was a cool status job to have. But if I told anybody that I was DJing at wedding receptions, they laughed that off. That's not real DJing. They kind of looked at it like, you know, oh, you're just a party clown. And everybody who I knew who was, I don't know, maybe between 25 and 30, who was a mobile DJ at the time, was kind of a nerd. They were shaped funny. <laughs> they, they dressed funny. Their blazers were ill-fitting. They clapped their hands and smiled a lot while playing Celebration by Cool and the Gang for a crowd at a wedding. It's like their mom cut their hair. You know, they just weren't cool. Chicks weren't flocking to these guys. Most of these guys were either very married or very single. <laughs> it was one or the other. They weren't meeting girls at weddings. It just wasn't happening for them. They didn't have that kind of personality. So that was something that was bothering me at the time. And I thought to myself, I have to get out of this before I'm like 25 or I'm going to become those guys and that freaks me out. Now, if I go back and look at it, at the time, I was not comfortable in the polyester tuxedo and bow tie at all. But that's what they told me I had to wear. So that's what I wore. I always still tried to bring my own flavor to events, but I wasn't comfortable with my music selection that the multi-ups provided me. I wasn't comfortable with the standard uniform I had to wear. I wasn't comfortable with the kind of things I was expected to say over the microphone and the way that I was expected to say them, if that makes any sense to you. When I was doing my club stuff, I was very much myself. I was playing the music that I felt was good for the crowd that was in front of me. I was dressed like I was going out to a club. I was saying things on the microphone when I turned the microphone on that made sense. And those things were much more natural. So if you take all that and you look at it and assess it, yeah, you know what? Maybe it wasn't the mobile DJ that wasn't cool. It was how I was being a mobile DJ because I continued to do it. And I think when I was 23, I ended up, or maybe 22, 22, 23, I ended up getting my own system. My, I started my own company and I started doing things my way. I put the system together my way. And I started playing the music that I thought was a lot better than the standard catalog that every other mobile DJ at the time in my area was playing. I still played some of that stuff, don't get me wrong, but I added other things that I thought, you know, really brought some cool flavor to it. And the way that I said things over the microphone was more in the fashion that I was speaking at the club. It wasn't this canned phrase stuff that a lot of the DJs were using that I was never really that comfortable with ladies and gentlemen at this time kind of stuff if you say that i'm not hating on you i'm just telling you i wasn't comfortable with it i felt like that there was something more i could be doing and you know by the time i was 30 i didn't feel like the old guy i didn't feel uncomfortable in my own skin i didn't feel like the way i was dressing at weddings was nerdy i was getting attention from women. It wasn't so bad. I, I didn't feel like I wasn't cool. I felt like I was fine. I was just providing a service, but I was doing it my way as me, if that makes any sense to you. So if I take all of that and, and want to just throw some advice out to you, I feel like the coolest way that you could possibly be a DJ is to DJ as yourself. If you're trying to emulate anyone else, and you're not getting your own personality into this. I think it shows that you're kind of faking it. If you can go ahead and bring yourself to just be yourself, that's what I think is cool. Today, I don't think there's this really nasty stigma with mobile DJs like there was back then, because a lot of you guys out there, 
are bringing fantastic flavor to what you do. There are some out there, yeah, they're still trying to emulate someone else. They're looking for an identity. And you know, I hope someday they find it. And when they do, I hope they bring it, uh, incorporate it into what they do with their performances and their music selection and the way they use the microphone and all that kind of fun stuff. That's it. It's a quick video from the lake. I'm waiting for Blanca to get done with the haircut. So instead of going all the way home, I thought I'd go ahead and just park, shoot a video. And I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm not going to hustle you for Patreon or any of that stuff. I'm not going to ask you to buy my merch. But I will ask if you could subscribe and like and leave a comment. That would be really nice. Helps feed my family. Please help feed my family. Like and subscribe to my videos. That's it, guys. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you. Where's the camera? There, you. I appreciate you. Practice and enjoy. And here, before we go, I'll, I'll just show you the lake. Here, look at this. So cool out here today. Look at that.